there's been a significant change in the racetrack EV charging project. They had just one station open in Oxford, Alabama for a very long time, and that was assumedly their test site, but they are now moving with a pretty rapid pace. This past week, they opened four additional sites, and it looks like additional sites are starting to come online. Let's go into the update. Their headquarters is in Atlanta, Georgia. Their service area are these states. However, they recently purchased Gulf Oil, which is expanding their footprint into the Northeast. Their 15th on 2023's uh, CSP's ranking, but uh, that is likely going to increase, and also this location count is going to increase. Their hardware initially was the ABB Terra 184 exclusively, but we now see free wire boost chargers in their environment as well. These are the same that are used by 7-Eleven and Circle K. Circle K recently has been spotted using free wire boost chargers as well. I was going to do a video on that once it opened up. It's not open yet. Their backend uh, partner is Charge Lab, and their mobile app has EV in the search filter. So this past week, they had an event at one of their locations in Texas. This is Grand Prairie, Texas, where they were celebrating the grand opening of a new electric vehicle charging station. You can see their stations have canopies, two stalls, and on their property... Normally it's off to the side a little bit from the gas station uh, pumps, but the convenience store with is, is within close walking distance of all these locations, which is really nice. And they have garbage cans and squeegees and everything. <clears throat> they also updated their website this week, and they have this new page for EV charging. Uh, this is the location in Oxford, Alabama. I've been there. I've recorded a site visit video, which I'll link down below in the description. And uh, their locations are also being updated on their mobile app as well that have EV charging as a, fil a filter for searching locations. Let's go over some of these pictures before we get into the update. This is, as I said, the grand opening, Grand Prairie, Texas. Uh, some kind of event. I'm not quite sure exactly what happened here, but this was captured by a PlugShare user. And this is the equipment at that location. Uh, you can see the garbage cans on either side, which is always very nice to have. I know I appreciate those and being able to uh, have a windshield squeegee as well is always nice. This is a dual handled ABB Terra 184 with one Chatamo and one CCS. <clears throat> Here's the FreeWire Boost Charger, and similarly, it has one Chatamo and one CCS, two stalls underneath the canopy. If you want to see what the canopy looks like, it's a pretty significant build of a canopy, which is really nice to not only protect from the rain and snow, obviously in Texas there's not that much snow, but there is some, but really the sun. It's nice to be under a canopy when you're charging and have protection from the sun because you'll be parked there and oftentimes sitting in the car for a good portion of time and indirect sunlight that can get uncomfortable and you really are hurt, um, turning away on your HVAC. With a little bit of shade, it decreases that significantly. Here's someone celebrating the event with a cold beverage. And let's get into the update. As I said, there's currently five locations open. Those are Oxford, Alabama, Grand Prairie, Texas on Interstate 20, Wiley, Texas, which is a free wire unit, Garland, Texas, which is a free wire unit. All of them have canopies. So assumingly every location that racetrack is going to be doing is going to be having these canopies. All of them also are confirmed to be 45 cents per kilowatt hour, which is a darn good price. Uh, Forney, Texas, uh, which is an ABB unit. Coming soon locations, Rocky Mount, North Carolina has been announced. These are other locations in the greater Dallas, Fort Worth metropolitan area. Smyrna, Georgia is a very large location uh, that they are going to be doing, uh, I think it's 12, yeah, here it is, 12 EV charging stalls at this location at a 20,000 square foot facility, very close to their headquarters in Atlanta, Georgia. And then Dublin, Georgia has been awarded NEVI funds. Let's take a look at some of the pictures. Oxford, Alabama. I have uh, been here in charge here. It's right on Interstate 20 in between Atlanta and Dallas. It's, it's a nice stop. It really is a nice stop directly off the interstate. Wiley, Texas. Garland, Texas. Grand Prairie, Texas. 
for any Texas. I don't have a open picture yet. This is just recently opened, but uh, it is showing active in plug share. And it's just a matter of time before someone posts a picture of it because nothing's nicer than charging underneath the canopy. Us EV drivers, for us, that's a that's an unusual experience. Construction photos, here's Irvine, Texas, and the Smyrna, Georgia floor plans. You can see the 12 EV charging stalls are right here next to the gas pumps underneath the canopy. Exciting times. Thanks for watching.